Red 2 standing by, all four lit and in the green, welcome back to Yoshi's Crafted World. We're heading back to Dino Desert. We cleared through Dino Smash in the last episode, and now we have Skelosaurus Rex. So what's going to be on display in this one? This is the one I was initially thinking of previous episode. We have a bit of a chase. So we run on ahead. Zooms out all of a sudden and we can see a giant skeleton coming together and pursuing us. Now this is an auto-scroller with some pretty good chase music. Watch out for that head smash attack! This thing's packing a potent head smash that would rival Kranados and Rampardos. I nearly forgot Rampardos' name. Even the Shy Guys are terrified. But if we're very quick, we can grab all our pickups. And there's our present in the background. Don't forget the presents. So move quickly and carefully, and you should be able to get through this. It's admittedly not the fastest auto scroller out there. And it's a little annoyed. It'll do those tail swipes as well. So quickly run through here, grab those. Oop. Oh no, I got stuck, I got stuck. And I got eaten! Okay, that didn't go anywhere near as smoothly as, as I thought it was going to. And I missed out on that. Might take you a few tries to get things in here, you really... You really have to be ahead of the game on this one, and it's annoyed. It's annoyed and it's coming at us a lot faster. Alright, let's get moving. Duck down here. Well, we got another flower, and... We've made it to safety. And it's fallen to its death. We missed a flower. Ah, oh, well. As I said, it may take you a couple of tries, and that one is probably a little bit more stressful. Not fond of auto-scrollers. Especially since I'm the sort of player who likes to do things at their own pace. Not to mention, I'm not always very good with 2D platformers, so I have to take that time to organise things. So auto-scrollers, especially with those, let's call them advancing walls of doom, are pretty much anathema to me. Hold on. Hey, Yoshi! How'd you like Dino Desert? So much to see, huh? Gotta admit, it does have a pretty good design aesthetic. I've been hoping for a local souvenir. I'd love a beach umbrella, please. I saw one on the flip side right near the desert pond. Great for beating the heat. If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. Well, looks like we'll be wrapping things up with this. We'll be finding the Poochie Pups. We've got 2 minutes and 30 seconds to do it. And we'll need to grab that beach umbrella. Admittedly, this shouldn't take me too long, so I might be able to wrap things up easily enough. Whoops. 
let's run across here and keep our eyes peeled. Well, that was a decent shot. Ah, that's what we're looking for, so let's target that. And let's keep going. Now, where are those dogs? There's one. Whoops. So you can lick them to get them. Alright, grab the checkpoint and let's... Alright, where is it? It's along here somewhere, isn't it? Alright, that hurts you as well. Where is it? Damn it, I can hear it, but I can't see it. Come on, Poochie Pup, where are you? That's twice I've done that. I can hear it, but why can't I see it? Where in blazes is the damn thing? Did I mention I'm a cat person and I don't like dogs? Well, I can't go up there. Oh, you little sod! Yahoo. Take two, then. Alright, that went badly wrong. Thankfully, it does actually let us keep the crafts we found. So we don't have to worry about shooting at the uh, beach umbrella. We can just charge right ahead and find these dogs. Did I s I'm going to keep that bomb. Somehow, I don't get hurt. Radio first checkpoint. We know where that stupid second dog is. There we go. Now we can actually proceed through the level. And I need my dino skull.
On we go. Health doesn't matter. As long as you got the poochie pups, you're good to go. That's what we're looking for. Smack those. And now we can run full steam ahead for the exit. Well that was more trouble than it should have been. At least I get some flowers out of it. And we'll get another one for completing that souvenir hunt. Whoo! You found me a beach umbrella! As thanks for your help, I present you with this! Presumably we're getting a refund. Flowers draw a smile on just about anyone's face. If someone's feeling low, just hand them some flowers. That'll do the trick. I've got another request. I'd love some camels, please. I think three should do the trick. I saw three on the flip side where the Skelosaurus dwells. Please get them all. If you see one, just toss an egg at that sucker. So we won't be doing that just yet. I'm doing those off screen because unfortunately they can come across as a bit repetitive. It's kind of time consuming. You're going through the same level over and over again. It can be kind of fun because it does encourage you to actually look at the graphics and everything. But, like I said, mostly doing this for relaxation, and I don't really want to bore you too much by going to the same places over and over again. A regular old red bucket, a bulldozer, Green push cart. Ancient stone sculpture. Hot sauce. Cactus. A brick. Little Skelosaurus skull. Those things we've been wearing while wandering around, I assume. The Skelosaurus itself. And a camel. And once again, we've completed another area. You know what, just to wrap it up, I probably am going to wind up... ...running through the flip side. Just because I can, these are fairly quick. So I'm mostly doing this as a bit of a time filler because I think the episode might be running a bit short. Let's get running. And of course that zoom out means guess who is chasing us. The Skelosaurus is back. And we're cruising along with extremely slow auto-scrolling. Uh, where'd the dog go? Did the Where's the... Where's the dog? Oh, that's right. Uh... I think I'm gonna have to start that again. I think the Skelosaurus killed the dog. I mean, I might like dog. I mean, I bear, 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 bear. I I can't speak English all of a sudden. I might like cats and greatly dislike dogs a lot of the time, but I certainly don't wish harm on them. I didn't mean for the poochie. Well, here I can't afford for anything to go wrong. Okay, aim.
This is proving way harder than it should be. And somehow I once again demonstrated my graduation from the Imperial Stormtrooper Marksmanship Academy. Good heavens, how did I botch that? Okay. Right. But yes, as I was saying, auto-scrolling levels. If it's just auto-scrolling, I don't mind too much. But at the same time, I also dislike the fact that I can't just sort of go ahead and do things myself. You're sort of travelling at a pace dictated by the game. Which is actually a little annoying. And when they start throwing in a whole lot of extra irritating obstacles, to me it just sort of comes across as what they call fake difficulty. Because you're not really being tested on your actual skills, I find. Or at least this is just my take on it, but it's basically like... It's not really a test of your skills if you're having to constantly run... Well, it might be. Uh, dog. Yeah, basically, like, it just do it doesn't really test your skills if you're having to constantly run away from obstacles, like the advancing wall of doom or various enemies. And it certainly doesn't help when you've got to make ridiculously precise jumps, often with enemies getting in your way, that mean you can only undertake those jumps at a certain... a certain speed or under certain strict timing, where... Come back here, stupid. There, right, we've got the dogs. Right, you stay back there. See, you, it's more likely to rush you and you wind up making stupid mistakes. It's essentially, they're essentially just designed as tests for... It's almost like in testing how well you work under pressure, but sometimes it's going against the scope of the game, because if you're just going into a blind panic every time you do the level because you've got a ridiculously strict timer, you've got an advancing wall of doom going on, you can't go at your pace, it can be very, very, very frustrating. So you get back. Get back to where you once belong. Oh great, now he's in. Now he's annoyed, the screen goes funny and we speed up. And we can't hit him with eggs anymore. Serves you right. Now where's that camel? You've got to be kidding, I missed a camel. And I can't go back. I forgot about the timer. Anyway, let's... Let's forget that camel for now. I'll go back and get that off screen. But as you can see, I hate auto-scrollers. Well, that dragged things out longer than it needed to. Anyway, that wraps up this episode. Unfortunately, what should have been a mellow LP winds up not being mellow when my least favourite type of level is involved. But nonetheless, thank you very much for joining me. I will see you next time for more Yoshi's, Wool the Yoshi's Crafted World. I'm a bit frazzled. So for now, this is Red 2 returning to base.